Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can embed lists and libraries from one side on the other side. Uh, here's a use case. So I have this uh, policies site. It's a dedicated site where I store company policies. And as you can see here, here is a library of policies with a few documents in it. Um, I also happen to have a QMS site, all right, a quality management system site. Uh, where, among other things, I also want to put some policies as well. I don't want to uh, recreate a library. I don't want to duplicate the content, right? The policies already reside on this other site. What I want to do is I want to make them available on this site now, all right? So here's how to make it happen. We are going to take advantage of the embed web part. Embed web part is actually a pretty cool web part that allows you to embed content from other sites, not necessarily SharePoint, could be some external websites too. Uh, let me show you how to make it happen. Uh, we'll edit this page and let's add the web part. The web part we want is called embed, all right? And it's asking us for the URL of the site now. Uh, so we go here now. Make sure, make sure to grab the full URL. Right? It it cannot be just a URL of the site or the library. It actually has to be a very specific view. You know how you can have multiple views on lists and libraries. Well, make sure to copy the entire path because if you don't, let me just show you what will happen. All right. So I'm not going to copy the entire path. I'm just going to paste it. It's going to give you an error message. All right. Uh, so it's not going to work. So let's copy the entire path. All right. Uh, and by the way, right, I'm showing you uh, an example of a document library. You can embed a list as well. Uh, all right. So I'm now embedding the full path. And look at this. Here is my policies library from another site now appearing on the quality site. So all I have to do is just click republish and uh, look at this. Here we go. Uh, the documents are still physically, you know, you can open them and, you know, view them and, all that stuff, but uh, the, you know, I essentially uh, now just uh, embedded uh, that particular library uh, on this um, uh, on this particular page. Uh, now, um, here's another trick I want to show you um, related to the list, right? It doesn't have to be the library. Let's say I have this list of uh, projects that I have, it's just a regular list, all right, just like that. So we copy it. Uh, let's now navigate to our uh, QMS site. All right. And again, you know, I'm going to edit the page. Let's do another one, um, another column, another embed widget. All right. Just like that. And again, you know, make sure it's a full, um, you know, full URL path of the whole, with a, of a particular view, right? Not just uh, a list itself. And look at this. Here we go. Essentially, now it embedded it. All I have to do is just republish it. So a uh, pretty cool technique in case if you need to surface up the information from other sites, right? I mean, obviously you don't want to duplicate content, but this will allow you to uh, essentially maintain uh, your list and libraries in one place and display them in another. All right, so that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.